In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a uh, report into Maxima application. And this will apply to Maxima version 7.1 and Maxima version 7.5. To import, duplicate, or delete reports, you always have to go to Report Administration Application. Go to the Go To menu, Administration, Reporting, and Report Administration. From here, you'll be able to create a new report with the click of a new report button, search reports, and so on. We're not going to cover all of these options today in this video, but I'm going to show you how to add a new report. So as soon as you click on this button, it'll take you to the second tab, which is the reporting tab, whereas the first one, the list tab, is where you're going to be able to look up all of your currently existing reports in Maxima application. From here, the first field is going to be where you're going to specify the report file name, which of course has to match the file you're going to import in a moment. If these files do not match, Maxima then doesn't know to associate them. However, over in this field, you're going to be able to specify your own description for the report, which I will show you later. It's how it's going to appear within the application on the reports uh, menu. And of course, the application will be specified here from the lookup, which then also populate the report folder. So let's begin. The report file name that I'd like to import is work order uh, tracking list. However, an existing one already resides in this application, so all I did was adding the word underscore test. And in my description field, I'm going to give it a dash test so we can differentiate it from the already existing work order list report. This report will go into the work order tracking application, which is in short, we'll track. And we'll just leave the default BERT report type as such. At this point, we're going to save this change. And of course, the record has been saved, so a new selection has been added. But there are a couple more things that we still need to do. So at this point, we need to go and actually go, go ahead and import the report file, which at this point is saved on my desktop. And as you can see, the selection is identical. Here is my actual equity design file that I'm going to report, and here's the name is specified. So these two, these two names must match. Press OK. And Maxima makes this association for you by default, and it just accepts the defaults again. So at this point, we've created an entry, we've specified where it goes, the type of report it is, and we've also associated with the actual RPT design file. And now we need to make sure to create a pointer in the database that will tell where that new report is residing, and that is by generating the request pages. At this point, we were waiting for the system message to confirm the request page has been generated, like so. And now we know that the report has been imported successfully. So knowing that we imported it to a quarter tracking application, let's go to the quarter tracking application and test out this newly imported report. And there it is. So if we click on the report, Here's your request page that we just generated. Otherwise, you'll receive an error message saying that it has not been generated. And then you just merely have to go back to their um, administrative application and go ahead and generate, click on that button and generate the request pages. That's quite simple. So at this point, we can submit the report and it's going to run against all the records, which is quite a few of them. But we know the report has been imported and there it is.